As you record now, January 11th, 1807, December 9th, 1874, was an American businessman, politician, philanthropist and educational administrator. He was the founder of Western Union and a co-founder of Cornell University. He also served as president of the New York Agriculture Society and as a New York State Senator. Birth and Early Life He was born in Westchester Landing, in what would become the Bronx, New York, the son of Eunice, Barnard, and a potter, Elijah Cornell, and was raised near De Ruyter, New York. He was a cousin of Paul Cornell, the founder of Chicago's Hyde Park neighborhood. Cornell was also a distant relative of William Cornell, who was an early settler of Scarborough, Ontario whose name was used for the planned community of Cornell, Ontario. Having traveled extensively as a carpenter in New York State, Ezra, upon first setting eyes on Cayuga Lake and Ithaca, decided Ithaca would be his future home. Ezra Cornell's earliest American patrilineal ancestor, Thomas Cornell, 1595-1673, was probably Puritan at first then a follower of Roger Williams and Anne Hutchinson drifting into Quakerism which seems to have been the religion of his descendants. Portsmouth is noteworthy in American history for the 1638 Portsmouth Compact declaring for a separation of church and state rivaling the Flushing Remonstrance of 1657 declaring for religious tolerance in New Amsterdam, Quakers in particular. Ezekiel Cornell a Revolutionary War General represented Rhode Island in the U.S. Continental Congress from 1780 to 1782. Marriage and early career, after settling in at Ithaca, Cornell quickly went to work proving himself as a carpenter. Colonel B.B. took notice of the industrious young man and made him the manager of his mill at Fall Creek. Ezra Cornell was a birthright Quaker, but was later disowned by the Society of Friends for marrying outside of the faith to a world's woman, a Methodist by the name of Mary Ann Wood. Ezra and Mary Ann were married March 19, 1831, in Dryden, New York. On February 24, 1832, Ezra Cornell wrote the following response to his expulsion from the Society of Friends due to his marriage to Mary Ann Wood, I have always considered that choosing a companion for life was a very important affair and that my happiness or misery in this life depended on the choice. The young and growing family needed more income than could be earned as manager of B.B.'s mills. So, having purchased rights in a patent for a new type of plow, Ezra began what would be decades of traveling away from Mythica. His territories for sales of the plow were the states of Maine and Georgia. His plan was to sell in Maine in the summer and the milder Georgia in the winter. With limited means, what transported Ezra between the two states were his own two feet. Telegraph, happening into the offices of the Maine farmer in 1842, Cornell saw an acquaintance of his, one F.O.J. Smith, bent over some plans for a scraper as Smith called it. For services rendered, Smith had been granted a one-quarter share of the telegraph patent held by Samuel F.B. Morse and was attempting to devise a way of burying the telegraph lines in the ground and lead pipe. Ezra's knowledge of plows was put to the test and Ezra devised a special kind of plow that would dig a two and one half foot ditch, lay the pipe and telegraph wire in the ditch and cover it back up as it went. Later it was found that condensation in the pipes and poor insulation of the wires impeded the electrical current on the wires and so hanging the wire from telegraph poles became the accepted method. Cornell made his fortune in the telegraph business as an associate of Samuel Morse, having gained his trust by constructing and stringing the telegraph poles between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland 
as the first ever telegraph line of substance in the U.S. to address the problem of telegraph lines shorting out to the ground. Cornell invented the idea of using glass insulators at the point where telegraph lines are connected to supporting poles. After joining with Morse, Cornell supervised the erection of many telegraph lines, including a portion of the New York, Albany and Buffalo line in 1846 and the Erie and Michigan Telegraph Company connecting Buffalo to Milwaukee with partners John James Speed and Francis Ormond Jonathan Smith. Cornell, Speed and Smith also built the New York and Erie line competing with and paralleling to the south the New York, Albany and Buffalo line in which Morse had a major share. The line was completed in 1849 and Cornell was made president of the company. Cornell's sister Phoebe married Martin B. Wood and moved to Albion, Michigan, in 1848. Cornell gave Wood a job constructing new lines and made Phoebe his telegraph operator, the first woman operator in the United States. Cornell earned a substantial fortune when the Erie and Michigan was consolidated with Hiram Sibley and his New York and Mississippi Company to form the Western Union Company. Cornell received two million in Western Union stock. Cornell was a Republican member of the New York State Assembly, Tompkins Co., in 1862 and 1863 and of the New York State Senate from 1864 to 1867, sitting in the 87th, 88th, 89th and 90th New York State Legislatures. Mm -hmm.